In this video, we're gonna put two popular headphone amps head to head, coming up. Welcome back to the channel, I'm RJ Ronquillo. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. So recently I got to try out two direct plug headphone amps, the Fender Mustang Micro and the New X Mighty Plug. And if you wanna see those individual demo videos, the links are down in the description. But seeing as they are very similar and obvious competitors, it was only fair that I did a shootout video. So today I wanted to go over the differences in specs, compare some of the sounds, and then talk about which one might be right for you. But before we get started, if you're into these kinds of videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified of whenever I post a new video or when I go live. Okay, so let's start with the price differences. The Fender Mustang Micro sells for $99.99 US dollars, while the new X Mighty Plug is 30 bucks cheaper at $69. Both are very similar in size, the Fender being slightly smaller and lighter. Their designs are very similar with this swiveling plug to accommodate different output jacks. The Fender, however, can rotate 270 degrees while the new X is more like 200 degrees. Battery life on the Fender, they say, is four hours, and with the new X, most people have been getting about three hours. Both have rechargeable batteries. The Fender uses a USB-C jack, while the new X uses a micro USB jack. And both units can use their USB connections to record directly into the computer without the need for an audio interface. However, I think you need to download drivers for the new X. The Fender, you did not, so it was just plug and play. Now, as far as the internal features and the sounds included, this is where you'll find the big differences. Simply speaking, the Fender comes with 12 guitar amp models and 12 effects models. The new X, on the other hand, has 13 amp models, which includes 11 guitar amps and two bass amps. So you can use this one with a bass. The Fender is strictly guitar amp models. The new X has 19 effects, as well as 20 IRs, or impulse response models, of various speaker cabs. So the main difference is that the sounds in the Fender unit are all kind of preset. They're all switched via these buttons on the side and correspond to different colored lights. So if you have problems seeing colors, that might be something to think about. And while you do have simple buttons to control the EQ of a sound and like one parameter of the effects, you don't have control over things like amp gain or individual bass, mid and treble. I think the idea behind this is just plug it in and play. In contrast, the new X has almost no buttons except for this one on top, which scrolls through the different presets which you can set and tweak to your heart's content via their Mighty Amp app on your smartphone, which connects via Bluetooth. And within that app, you have tons of control over almost every parameter, as well as some cool features like a metronome, drum loops, and backing tracks. So to me, that's really the big difference. The Fender is simplified for you with their presets, albeit really great sounding presets. And the new X, which also sounds great, has a lot more control and tweakability, but you have to pair it with your smartphone and use the app. So now I just wanna compare the sounds of both of the devices. I'm gonna choose similar clean, overdrive, and distorted tones, as well as a few effects models. I'll play them back to back so you can really get an idea of how they sound next to each other.
Okay, so now you know the specs, you've heard the sounds, which one would you get? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so in my opinion, they both sound very impressive for such a tiny and plastic device. I think it all comes down to how simple you want it to be or how much tweaking you want to do. If you just want something to quickly plug in and jam or practice with, with some basic sounds and effects and not worry about tweaking it too much, the Fender would be a good option. And an added benefit that I should point out is that there is a volume knob right here on the Fender, while with the new X you have to go into the app to adjust the volume, which for me was kind of a bummer. But if you want something that does the headphone amp plus the in-depth tweakability and other features from the app, the new X is a no-brainer, especially with it being 30 bucks less than this one. All right guys, there you have it. I hope this little shootout helped you decide between these two awesome headphone amps. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos, or guitar lessons, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video.